We all know that there's added costs to running trail cameras. You have SD cards, you have data plans on the cellular side, and of course you have batteries. And with more and more people running larger fleets of cameras, the consumables like batteries can become actually quite expensive to keep these things running 24 seven. We want to help you save some money, get more out of your dollars and more out of your trail camera experience. So stop throwing away your batteries at the end of every year unless you know for certain that they're bad. And in this video, we're gonna show you not only how to test your batteries, but we're also gonna talk about the popular bounce test. So the first process we're gonna show you is just the basic multimeter tool. You wanna make sure that you have your positive or red probe into the slot to read voltage. Of course, your multimeter turned on to read volts and in DC mode or direct current mode. And then of course your black probe um, in, your, in your common slot. So for testing you know, trail camera batteries, don't think that you absolutely need to test every single battery. One of the things we like to do right out of the rip when we're pulling cameras down from the season is just actually pull the actual battery tray out. You could take your negative probe, touch it on this side of the tray, and then take your positive probe and touch it on the positive terminal and that's going to give you your full voltage reading on that set of batteries so you can see on the multimeter right now we're reading at 11.25 volts but you could do the same thing with lithium batteries even though they have a constant voltage output you can still have that same the same test and that same process so you could see eight double a lithium batteries are reading just about 12 volts 11.97 volts if you want to take that one step further Again, same, same process. You could take your individual batteries, your red probe on your positive terminal, and then just apply the, the negative to the negative. And you can see this individual AA is reading 1.619 volts. Just a quick tip, alkaline batteries and alkaline AA should be reading about 1.5 volts when it's full. So we just pulled this battery out, it's brand new, and it's actually reading 1.6, and then the same thing with the lithium batteries. Again, same exact process. And you can see this is reading 1.7 volts, which also lithium double A's brand new out of the box should be 1.7 volts. So these are two good brand new batteries. So the next little tool I wanna to talk about is just a little handheld battery tester that can read uh, voltage anywhere from 1.2 volts all the way to 4.8 volts on a double A cell, maybe an 18650. Um, and also has the capabilities of reading a nine volt battery here on the side. But this little tester is super, super cheap. I think I bought this on Amazon for seven bucks. So, you know, you can grab these for five, five to 10 bucks and have this sitting in your junk drawer and easily test batteries uh, really, really quick and really, really efficiency, efficient. So this is a pretty simplistic design. All we need to do is open this up, place a negative terminal down on the bottom and then let this jaw come closing down on the positive terminal on the top of the battery and you could see that reads 1.7 volts the exact same reading that we got from our from our multimeter so maybe you've heard about the bounce test and if not if you were to google how to test AA batteries without tools or without a piece of equipment the bounce test is probably going to be the number one search result and it's something new to us we had never heard of it we watched several videos about it and then as we began to dig and do some due diligence on what that test actually proved and what it actually means, how much consistency it has and how much validity it actually has. We found that the entire test is basically bogus, but what it is, there's a claim out there where you can basically hold a double A, an alkaline double A off of a hard surface, maybe an inch. And if you drop it and the battery does not bounce, the battery is good. If that battery, battery were to bounce and um, kind of tip over, the, the saying is the battery's bad. So we felt like that was really intriguing, but we wanted to know why. And after we did further research, we actually found a Princeton, the University of Princeton article and study where they went into detail and basically proved that test to be bogus. So if you guys have any interest in checking that out, we're not gonna talk about it. It's pretty complicated, but there's a link in the description below. The important thing to note is you can't bounce test alkaline batteries. So after you test these batteries, obviously pitch the bad ones, actually recycle the bad ones. Anything that tests good, hold on to, use them around the house, use them in your TV remotes, use them in the kids' toys, save yourself a few dollars.